Hey, you... You okay? Now, that was... <sighs> anyway, we've made it to medical. Let's find the evac stations and get out of here. Surprise, surprise! Main medical reception separated by an unresponsive door. Welcome to the medical center. Emergency care on the ground floor. GP offices and observation rooms on the first floor. See the metaphorical ivory tower? Guess whose offices are up there? Starts with Mel and ends with Issa. I am so relieved we made it down here. I was kind of worried we were going to be trapped in the clean water place forever. Great. I thought I found an evac station, but turns out it's just one of those industrial kitchens. No ice cream, though. Very disappointing. Yep, it's locked. Guess guide hunting season is not over just yet. pot on my end. Mm, mm, mm. How are you doing finding yours? So let's take a look at this. How do we make it go? Oh, great. Here's a surprise. Problems with pod tracks in the tunnels. Hang on, I'll show you. See the red lines? Those are broken track connections. And the orange one needs rerouting, otherwise I'll be stuck. Looks like you're right next to tunnel entrances, so congrats. You're in charge of track repairs. Wait, before you go, can you send me a photo of your pod? Mr. Payne, your medical records show that you've been ordered bed rest for the next two days.
That's not the evac pod, but never mind. I found what I was looking for. Your pod is missing a bunch of parts. I'm gonna hunt those down. In the meantime, go and fix the tracks. Nice! Is what I would say if I understood what you're trying to tell me. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about sending me a photo of your pod. I've got you covered. Your pod is busted right now. I need to track down spare parts. In the meantime, make sure to get the tracks all fixed up. No tracks, no pods, no exit. A wet floor? That's not a good sign. Feel if the fate of our escape depends on a screwdriver? Asking for a friend. Anyway, how are you getting on? Everything okay? Hey, I've got a list of the parts we need for your pod. First one is obvious, the lid section. Pretty darn crucial so you don't fall out. Second is the evac control unit, the pod's onboard computer. I'm gonna go look for them now. You stay on track. <laughs> oh, Amber. These static printers, they aren't on the regular server system. I may be here a while. How's everything your end? Any luck with those tracks?
Where is the IT department? I need your server room. You do not have the correct permissions to access the IT department. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. Dr. Paletti, the latest NARIC study reports are ready for your review. Partial track connection re-established. Parts of the required tracks are still disconnected. Please continue the repair. Woohoo! One part of the tracks is connected up. According to the map, that's two more to go. Partial track connection re-established. Parts of the required tracks are still disconnected. Please continue the repair. Yes! Two parts of the track connected up. Just one more and we can get the heck out of here. Evac tracks have been repaired. Please consider immediate evacuation.
Hey, I think I know how to find the blueprints for your pod, but I need your help. Go to the research wing, research lab two. Oh, and collect as much substance as you can. You'll need it. Oh, nice waterfall. This is a highly restricted area. Please leave immediately via a posted exit. You're finally here. Good. See the big cylindrical apparatus? I think it's some kind of data storage node device. I want to find out what's on there. It, it might help us with the blueprints we need for your pod. To access the data, we have to set the device to diagnostic mode. And for that, you'll need this. It's a blueprint for a diagnostic module. You'll have to print copies around the node in specific slots. Hang on, I'll show you. There, you can see where to place the diagnostic modules. You'll also notice that some of the cooling tanks are positioned incorrectly. But don't sweat, I'll help with that. There's a mechanical arm on the node which I can control remotely. So, install the diagnostic modules and let me know which cooling tanks you want me to move where. Really sorry, but I don't get it. See you soon. Delivering to D. To be, or not to be, <laughs> you hear that, Hamlet? G forces in action. H, it is. Hey, robot arm, this is your coming to H story.
going to A, as in almost out of this place and back to the real world where there is ice cream. Going G. See you soon. Off to E. Next station, C. Off to E. Next station, C. That's a lovely whatever that is. Diagnostic modules operational. Yes, awesome. Accessing the core. Caution. Equus test note opening. Wait, what? Equus, that makes... Warning. Cooling tanks depleted. Approximately 30 seconds until core overheats and destabilizes. No, 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 no! Oh, come on. Come on! Warning. Core stability at 70%. Please, not now. Not when... Yes! Got a location for the evac pod lid blueprint. Just need one for the control unit. Warning. Core stability at 50%. No, don't do this to... Found it. Evac control unit blueprint is on Melissa Bradwell's computer. Oh, for Pete's sake, how are we supposed to get in there? Warning. Core stability at 15%. Wait, no, I just need to... Wow, this data core is extremely powerful. It's... Warning. Core stability at 5%. Okay, okay, I've got what we need. Warning. Core stability at 2%. The core! Reclaim the core! Now! <sighs> nice work. Just in time. Anyway, you need to get into the tower and find the evac control unit on Melissa Bradwell's computer. Oh, one sec. During my data search, I came across this image. It kind of looks important. Good luck breaking into Melissa's office. I'll go and fetch the evac pod lid from the biohazard section. Oh man, universe, Amber here, looking for a break to catch. Lift locked. Substance contamination protocol active. Please see Dr. Malcolmson in his office to get relevant access permissions. Um, Dr. Malcolmson's office is where you are, so go check it out and um, good luck. Welcome back, Dr. Malcolmson. You have one urgent message from John Bradwell. Playing now. Kevin, it's me. I took a look at the documents you sent me. Melissa is refusing to see sense. I... Look, I've given you temporary access to the house. Now come as soon as you can. I won't have long before they ferry me up to the service for the museum party tonight. 
That was... that was John Bradwell. Huh. Refusing to see sense. What did he mean? Anyway, you have access to Bradwell's private wing now. Maybe you can get into the tower from there. I'm actually the bearer of good news this time. I recovered the evac pod lid blueprint from the biohazard section. Sending now. I'll head back to the evac station and run a full system check. I am so done with surprises for today. Things are looking good my end. All the track connections are green. It's just that control unit blueprint for you, then we can get going. Ooh, a study. Look around, I bet you it's John's. Ten years on. That newspaper's from last summer. If I had to guess, looks like John was opening up some old wounds. Ugh, what happened was just so awful. That's a recent photo, just Melissa and John. You can tell that they're still in mourning. I mean, who wouldn't be? Can't imagine what it must feel like to suddenly lose half your family. Guide communications are disabled in this area of the facility. Goodbye!
Good evening, Mr. Bradwell. According to the schedule, you should be at your London residence as requested by Melissa Bradwell. Dr. Randall, EVAC control unit blueprint has now been successfully installed. Awesome, I knew you'd find it. Get down to EVAC and let's set up your pod. Pod 034 has been assembled for departure. Please use the pod to commence evacuation procedure. We made it! Let's get out of here! Welcome aboard the Bradwell EVAC system. Please relax and enjoy your journey. SMP detected. All blueprints and substance units have been removed. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. Today was a disaster. I know I wouldn't have been able to get through it without you. I can see your face! So glad you have one. <sighs> Only minutes away from freedom. Finally. Don't relax too much, Amber. Melissa? I was wondering when you'd finally show up. <laughs> 